So millions of Americans suffer from things like sleep apnea, snoring, teeth grinding, and TMJ. Those can lead to actually serious problems down the line and lots of discomfort as well. But now the dentist's office may offer some solutions which could help you or someone you know. Dr. Felipe Porto is a Yukon Health dentist. He joins me this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? So, and it's funny, uh, we actually, our daughters were in preschool together, so we exactly. just had this little yeah. phone like, wait yeah. a minute, is that you? Is that you? Exactly. So now we have to talk <laughs> about business as well. Um, let's talk first of all about these different issues. How common are these problems? Right? TMJ, that's the jaw pain, right? And then there's grinding. Yes, TMJ is an umbrella term pretty much to, for any problem that it has in the masticatory system. It can be muscle, it can be joint. You can have just the clenching, you can have clicking on your joints. All of that we call like TMD, but the whole kind of people call just TMJ. But TMJ is okay. the joint itself. Oh, but, oh uh, gotcha. Okay, it's so it's no, a bigger it's name TMJ, for it. It's a bigger name, yeah. So, and, and you know, you could, I've heard that before. Like if someone's chewing, like you might hear like a little clicking, clicking or something. Exactly. These are common. These it's are not uncommon common. problems, no, right? No, not at all. 30% of the population has like clicking and sometimes it's oh, asymptomatic. Wow. No pain whatsoever. And for many, many years, there was not too much you could mm -hmm. do about it, right? Yeah. Things have yeah. changed. Now there are options. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the different things? First of all, you've brought in a couple of, uh, of examples here. Exactly. What are some things you can do and what would you use these for? Yeah. Uh, mostly they are to protect your teeth. So if okay. you grind, if you clench your teeth, if you notice that you're wearing off some teeth at night, mostly, you can use those appliances because that's going to protect your teeth. They have different appliances. They have that tiny little one over here uh, uh, that just pretty much cover your front teeth. And uh, I'm not a big fan of that because it can cause some bite change. Oh, that's why it's always that. useful to get your dentist involved because you can buy over the counter some of those bite guards. And if you don't get adjusted properly, right. you might just damage your bite. And why would that be so bad? Uh, Things won't work properly anymore, yeah. will they? What happens is if you put something that is not adjusted correctly, your bite over time is going to change. And then you might start to kind of break some teeth because oh. your bite is completely so off. It's a fairly big deal. Yep. <laughs> All right. And, you know, so these, I don't even know if you can tell on TV because they're so clear. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're not very they're intrusive, like, are yep. they? They're very... Yeah. Uh, they, they just they cover a little awful. bit of your teeth. If I maybe turn that way. Yeah. You just cover a little bit of your teeth, uh, uh, just halfway. But pretty much that's acrylic. So when you grind your teeth, you're not going to be wearing teeth off. You're going to just be wearing that plastic so you can put some more plastic on instead of damaging teeth. Now, for people that, you know, maybe grind their teeth and they're thinking, okay, well, I'm not breaking my teeth, I'm grinding them down. Why yeah. is it such a big deal not to grind your teeth down? What happens is if you start to grind your teeth, uh, you're going to notice that your bite is going to get off. You're going to, some of the tips of the, the, your teeth is going to fall off as well. And uh, that can lead to some sort of muscle pain, joint pain, not on everybody. Some people have like half of their teeth and it's still no Yeah, you pain can whatsoever. see sometimes people oh, yeah. who have ground their teeth yeah. down. Is this sort of thing expensive? Because that's going to be the next question. People think, okay, I've got these issues. These are great solutions, yeah. but can I pay for it? I have heard, like I have seen patients that they had paid for $5,000. I have seen patients that they paid 200 bucks. Oh, that's better. So, yeah, <laughs> it depends. And the thing is, if your dentist know what they're doing and they adjust properly, that's the key. And that should be used only at night time because mm, during the day, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. none of us are supposed to put the teeth together anyways. We should keep teeth apart. They should we, be apart, okay. We only should touch teeth. So it's good teeth. to sleep with your mouth yeah. open. It doesn't look great, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's good it to It helps, do. exactly. Dr. Porter, thank you so much. This is really, really good information. We Thank really you. appreciate you coming Thank in. You. Thank you for having me. All right.